Hello, my name is Jared Williams, and today for this blog post, we will be discussing Microsoft Power BI Desktop, provided to you by Key2 Consulting, the key to your analytic needs. Brief introduction about me, my name is Jared Williams. <clears throat> I'm from Marietta, Georgia, and I've been a Key2 Consultant since October 2014. My spare time, I enjoy traveling the world. I've been to five continents at, on two separate occasions now, and I also enjoy training my dog. Uh, I have a German short hair pointer. Uh, if you have any questions about the presentation today, feel free to contact me at uh, the Key2 Consulting email, as well as my personal Gmail account. And to the left is a picture of me from SQL Pass this year, 2016. So. Uh, for our presentation using Microsoft Power BI Desktop, we're going to look at data from, you guessed it, ESPN Fantasy Football and how Power BI can help build you the perfect fantasy football team. You guys ready to get started? I hope you guys are excited. All right, so let's jump right into it. So we're going to open up Power BI, the desktop. Now, this is a, a free download. Uh, you can just go out and <clears throat> pick up with no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It's a really interactive tool. Uh, tons of <clears throat> ways to model data. Um, very interactive. Um, what I like about it is that you can pull from a very large variety of sources. So, to, uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to show you a little bit of that. Uh, and the overall objective is to show you how you can build the perfect fantasy football team using Power BI. Okay, so um, we're going to first uh, be able to go ahead and pull in data. So I'm going to click, uh, excuse me, get data. Once your Power BI desktop is opened up, get data. We want to look at web. Now there are all these other sources you can pull in from Excel, SQL Server. Um, the list goes on. I'll show you a little bit more here. Um, Azure, um, Hadoop, even Facebook. So I think the power in this tool is that you can be able to pull from <clears throat> more non-traditional sources, uh, even Wikipedia. So. Um, today we're going to pull from the web and what I like about this is that it allows you to screen scrape. So for our data sets, uh, we're going to look here <clears throat> and first we're going to pull in 2016 NFL rushing and receiving data. So uh, if you want to take a brief look at the data set, you can see all, right, uh, all the player stats are aligned from the 2016 season. And I just want to grab this URL here. Copy that. And we want to jump back to Power BI Desktop. And just go ahead and throw that <clears throat> URL in there. And what it's going to do, it's going to give me a preview of the data set. So this is uh, very similar to Power Query that is um, was an add-on in previous editions of Microsoft Excel. And then, so let me just go ahead and select this and see, you can see the data set. So this is just like Power Query that in 2016, Microsoft uh, made it a native to the uh, Excel 2016 so it's already built in but this is with Power BI desktop so we want to go ahead and load that first data set Let me give it a second you can also jump right into editing it uh, but we're gonna pull in multiple sources okay <clears throat> and these uh, your data sources can be yeah from almost wherever and you're able to join them together we're going to do another one uh and we want to throw we looked at the nfl rushing and uh, receiving so now we want to look at the receiving data 
once again, this source, if I didn't mention it before, is profootballreference.com. Uh, Great source because it, it lays the table out. So um, <clears throat> the, uh, everything is just in a table, easy for the Power BI desktop to interpret. And screen scrape. So we want to throw that URL in there. Hit OK. And then from here, um, I mentioned before that you can uh, edit it. I just want to click here to get a preview. That's my data. And uh, instead of clicking load this time, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right on into edit editing. Right here, uh, it'll take me to the query editor window. Um, in which I can begin doing my transformations. <clears throat> um, from here, uh, just some note, everything that I, all the steps that I'm doing is recorded here, which allows you to jump back and forth and see things before the transformations happen. So um, jumping right on into it, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of the columns that I don't need. So this rank column, team I really don't need that age I'll, I'll keep the position uh, let's see I'm gonna keep yards okay. this and we'll keep fumbles see uh, <clears throat> now just to Go ahead and get some of the data cleaned up. I want to take this on the home tab and replace some of these values like the star and then also replace values such as the plus sign. To get that, go ahead and get that cleaned up ready for transformations. Uh, if you look, it uh, will also tell you the data types that are here. Data types can be changed uh, <clears throat> uh, here. If I needed to change these to any date time or uh, decimal numbers, that will certainly uh, do the trick. And I'll show you that here in just a second when we start editing other table. So from here, uh, this looks like everything I need. Um, Notice there's some null values in there. We'll go ahead and get that corrected in just a few. So <clears throat> from here, I want to. I can jump to the other table that I brought in and be able to apply much of the same transformations. Um, so I want to remove these columns that I don't need. Age, games, rushing. I want to keep the yardage. The reason why I want to keep these certain columns is because based on how your league does the fantasy, <clears throat> how you all score your points, um, that's what we want to base our criteria off of. Which players, based on our team, our league's point systems, will yield us the highest amount of points? <clears throat> and we're going to, this is primarily looking at historical data. So, I would base my preferences for my 2017, the upcoming season, uh, <clears throat> preferences off of who put up the most points based on my league's rules for 2016. So I'll remove some of these columns, receiving yards, yeah. Relieve. Yeah, this has. This looks like what we need to take out. Touchdowns, uh, receiving touchdowns. That's all combined here in the re rushing and receiving touchdowns column. So I can remove these. Keep fumbles, receiving yards, uh, rushing touchdowns. I, I could take that out as well. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get those cleaned up. Um, transform. I'm going to replace those values so we can get it ready for our manipulations when we do our joins. And I'll show you all how to do that. Mm 
Replace values. I'm gonna leave it blank. So uh, <clears throat> now, if you look here, this is uh, numeric values in the rushing yards column. So I want to change these, the data types that I was mentioned before, all of these to. Get rid of those nulls. I want to change these to whole numbers so that later on we can begin doing the calculations off of these. And some of these have errors, so error here. Um, to go in and fix that, you can say. Go to the home, remove rows, remove errors, uh, and just to, for safe measures, uh, we'll do that with each of these columns, just because. <clears throat> the of how the data set is on the website just want to make sure everything's cleared out and see it's keeping track of all that for me so if I wanted to jump back up here um, and see any change how the data looked before any of the transformations I can certainly do that and jump back and all the same so now that we have our data in place uh, and it looks to be about the way that we want it. Um, from here, we can close and apply our changes, but uh, since we're here already, we'll just go ahead and keep on rolling. So, <clears throat> I want to re rename this column. And a lot, what I like about the tool, it's very intuitive. Uh, a lot of the features are uh, sim very similar to um, Excel in the regard that. You know everything's kind of column based um, and allows you to do like a lot of data, data manipulations even drop filters on the columns sort them so I think if you're familiar certainly familiar with Excel uh, you'll be able to figure out how to use Power Query pretty easily so player and I want to name this one player as well Now here's the part where uh, we begin applying most of the transformations. And okay, so now that we have our data a little bit more cleaned up, we can begin merging the tables together. Now if you're familiar with SQL, this is just like as if you were writing a merge statement <clears throat> or just an inner join statement. So <clears throat> here you go. Click on merge in the home tab begin making the join see that it tells us this is our current table that's above rushing and receiving see the name here but I want to click on receiving what kind of join do I want to do by default to do a left outer join you want to do a full outer so it can pull in both then to select what co columns you would like to join on you can just select these hit OK it's gonna open up a new column from the new table you could expand that. Let's put, go ahead and pull in everything. Um, <clears throat> by default, I would name it new column. Uh, I can go back and I can change that to let's just say one dot put an extra dot in there. So we could just say one. And then we can begin uh, joining the columns together. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that. So, <clears throat> what I'll need to do now is come up with a new column so that where the values here are null, the players' names, and I'll move this over so you, you can see exactly what I'm doing. 
See, some of these table players show up in both tables. Some don't, just based on their position. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to get everybody together. So I'm going to add column. And I've had these uh, formulas preset already. So I'm going to go here to my notepad and basically say... Basically say if the player's name is not null in this column, then give me the player for this column. For this column, so I have to change these a little bit. One dot else. One dot player. Okay, see how I did that, and. Here is also where you can use the mQuery language known as Mashup. Uh, and this will allow you to begin doing more complex um, <clears throat> begin begin doing more complex calculations. Uh, but for now, uh, we can just use these, just a simple if then statement, and it'll come up with a custom column in which you can see how to move these columns around. Uh, exactly how everything is filled in now. And I can go ahead and delete these two columns. Remove columns. And uh, for the rest of it, I want to do much the same. I'll go ahead and rename this. Player. Okay. Um, so I want to join some of these columns. So fumble. From both tables, we'd like to join those together. And for the sake of you all not having to watch me do the same steps multiple times, um, I'll go ahead and jump forward to where this portion of it is done already. So if we want to look at this data set, jump back up to here. Um, here, I've gotten all the players' names combined. I've uh, have the positions here: total rushing yards, receiving yards, um, the fumbles all combined together, and the amount of touchdowns that they score combined into a column where I did a calculation to show you all <clears throat> exactly how these values are being calculated okay so uh, I what I did here is I added another custom column by clicking there and I uh, wrote in a little query uh, to keep track of exactly how everything is being scored based on the point so uh, per rushing yard um, take that you divide those by 10 for touchdowns we have uh, for each touchdown in our league, you score six points. Um, and then for much the same for receiving yards. And then for fumbles, uh, it's minus two points for every fumble. So did a custom column for that. Uh, got, got the numbers and then sorted it by ascending order. Oh, excuse me, descending order. So you can see... Um, <clears throat> Who would have been a good pick for for my 2017 season based on what we looked at today so what we looked at was uh, rushing yards receiving yards fumbles and touchdowns you can also get a little bit more complex but for the sake of time and simplicity uh, I just wanted to show you all those so based on this information that we see here uh, David Johnson would have definitely been a good pick um, if you picked him up um, in your league, Ezekiel Elliott. And now uh, you can begin modeling this data in the Power BI desktop. <clears throat> so, there you go. Close and apply for the changes to be in effect. Take that.
and it allow us to jump right back out here to our to our data visualizations and which you can go ahead and uh, begin to look at the numbers and see see how the data actually correlates um, and how you would make want to make your pick so uh, for more information on how to build basic charts uh, Matt Walner did a blog on how to build basic charts within Power BI and Andy Kim another consultant with key to follow it up and um, sh did a blog post on how to share these data visualizations so and they're really easy to manage um, really easy to share great for your organization so I suggest if you want to dive more deeply into how to building how to build and share some of these reports go check out our other blog posts and that's my presentation so I hope that you all can use this tool going forward to dominate your uh, fantasy football league and have some fun with power bi okay so thank you so much for joining me today uh, please email me if you have any questions regarding this presentation and um, thank you for your time